Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to have a serious discussion here because serious things have gone down recently with regards to these two, um, what can we call them, morons? I'm sorry, but it's true. You know, anybody that pimps out the kids for money must be that way inclined. So, today, what have they been up to? Well, we need to go back in time a smidge and explore what um, has been and now what has become of these two. Back in 2016, these uh, set off on a journey of self-discovery, which um, involved, ironically enough, um, putting their kids in bathtubs and filming and things like that, right? But then it got to the stage where um, they were so famous, and uh, Chris especially, he was so engulfed in this uh, lifestyle of money and uh, fame and adulation. He was adored wherever he went. He had baying fans at his feet and at his mercy. Mercy being the uh, operative term in this sense, because he had fans coming, flocking to him. And uh, he was flocking to them, and not in a good way, as we'll soon discover. Sarah was not innocent in any of this, obviously. She was very much, you know, wow. She needed the fame. She wanted the Zoella lifestyle, and she almost got it. But for those darn kids, right, Sarah? She would have got away with it. No, but she... um. She almost had everything that she wanted, ever. And um, it got to the point where her fans, their fans, both of their fans, they just loved, loved the Inghams. They were like household names at school. They would talk about the Inghams. Did you see the Ingham show last night? The Ingham family, they were amazing. And they had them stitched on the, the back of their, like... Um, the backpacks and stuff like that, the kids when they went to school, and you knew that they were iFam because it was it was the thing to be back in the day, iFam, and they would buy all their merch, and because all these bought their merch and watched their videos every single day, there would be holidays. Holidays were abound, and um, this is why Chris and Sarah were able to live the lifestyle they lived for a very long time. They were getting like two, three, four, five hundred thousand views per video every single day. And they were living the high life. And it was largely down to all these fans that they loved so much. Uh, because they, they loved the fans, obviously, and uh, not the money. Obviously, that would be wrong, right? So, they... Um, they did this for a while, and then something cropped up, and I can't think for the life of me what it was. What was it? What was it? Yeah, it was um, somebody came forward, July 2018, somebody came forward and uh, had the audacity to uh, put a spanner in their works and accuse Chris of um, in inappropriateness, you know, as if he would do that. Come on, it's all lies, sure, it's all lies, right? And um, they, this led to a slight break in play. Up to this point, the Inghams, believe it or not, had gone about two years continuous play of no broken vlog time. I say they had no time off vlogging for about two years they had like an unbroken record it was amazing they were that good on time every time every single day in fact they were on time at five o'clock would you believe that was um something unheard of now obviously but back then it was a massive thing and they were you know on top of the world but they had to take this day off and um as you can see here, Sarah explained why they uh, they had to take a day off. Quick one to let you guys know that the only reason is that we had a super duper busy day yesterday dealing with family matters and it was absolutely impossible 
for us to do any vlogging of any kind i'm really 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 sorry i know we've had like a whole two years of not missing any sort of daily vlogging upload and I am super disappointed that we didn't manage to film anything at all yesterday so I just wanted to do a quick video to apologize to you guys and say I'm really sorry and that there is going to be a video hopefully going up tomorrow at 5 and I hope you guys will all come back then and see what we are getting up to we've got a little bit of an adventure planned obviously it was uh, due to family reasons it was in a sense it was you know it was chris um but he, obviously th they weren't gonna say that so they didn't come off youtube though that was a thing i think that was a, a big thing back then they didn't come off youtube and um, that really cost them in the long run they thought they could just avoid it and and just ignore the situation but uh, it didn't go away and in fact it followed them wherever they went people were reporting them to the authorities border control uh, they were reporting them to hotels they were staying in and to be fair un you know trying to get them kicked out of a hotel in the middle of the night isn't the best thing to do when uh, they've got kids right that was a bit unfair i've got to say but this happened time and time again basically every single place they ever went to they were reported for everything every time they got a free a free stay somewhere they were reported every time they got a free product they were reported every time they got like sent a packet of sweets they were reported right so I can imagine this lifestyle was hugely um, embarrassing for them, especially when they're getting pulled over. Well, Chris is getting pulled over at her border control, you know, things like that. But just hugely inconvenient, really, having to continuously explain to the, the owner of a hotel that they have haters and this is what haters do to them. Not acknowledging the fact that there was a, a genuine reason behind why people re were reporting them but you know that's another matter you know why let the truth get in the way of a good story eh? so you've got um chris and sarah not quite living the high life anymore but uh just still trying to get by people were just reporting them left right center until they finally broke they snapped chris and sarah finally snapped and they decided that um, they would try to escape the Matrix. And they've been doing this over time for the last, you know, a couple of years, really, probably, since they first took the kids out of school. Because, obviously, school is bad because that's staying in the Matrix. You can't go to school, to college, to university because that's a bad thing to do. Because, you know, you don't want to be dictated to by society and societal norms and things like that so they did that they took the kids out of school and there was uh, various things that suggested that their lifestyle was changing over time you know you had sarah's outbursts about the covid vaccine and things like that saying how it's not real covid's not real and then um, you know things like that it just they're, they're losing a little bit of credibility at this point and then you've got chris coming out with uh, saying that andrew tate the internet's most hated person with the most incredible views about society and men and women and everything saying that andrew tate is like the god and um his savior and crap right it was embarrassing i would say embarrassing for him but he's you know he is leading this lifestyle now he doesn't care and he, then bringing out the the whole book where he's now trying to sell all his schemes and things like that it's just it goes to show just what they've been up to so that brings us back up to date i hope you've enjoyed the recap that was uh, five six years in the space of uh, a few minutes so what have they been up to now which has led me to this point well some of you may or may not have noticed that sarah has um had 
put up a story recently. It was a few days ago, but uh, <laughs> this is interesting, and we're going to talk about it. But there's also more exclusive information, which uh, you may not know. So uh, let's get into that now. So what did she do? She put up this story here. Imagine fighting daily for the safety of a stranger's children online, but not actually being allowed to see your own son. That sounds very interesting, doesn't it? Now, contrary to popular belief, it is not myself. Are things kicking off in the Ingham household? I think this could be aimed at a certain rodent who makes YouTube videos. So thank you very much for that. Shout out. It's much appreciated. Sounds like someone has dropped a juicy little tidbit in her lap. Probably about a certain rodent. Or what about... The rodent can't see his son? Oh no. <laughs> So first up, I would just like to point out why why is everyone calling me a rodent? Okay, I'm sorry, but you know, calling out Sarah, you know, I'm just saying, go back to school, a few of you. No offense to anybody, you know, just joking. So um <laughs> No, no. Thank you for all the shout out, but no, it wasn't myself, right? Okay, I personally don't have a clue who she's talking about uh but what i do know is that she is calling out somebody and making quite threatening threatening threats to somebody um it sounds very much like she has been given some information about somebody who talks about them daily and i can't think of apart from myself and everybody on tattle i can't think of anybody else who actually talks about these idiots daily i really really can't so don't know is the answer to that one it's interesting i don't think we'll ever know because uh you know sarah's not gonna let us know is it is she hmm. but it didn't stop there she shortly uploaded this also to her stories so this person messaged her and said, that's a bit far, Sarah. You never know what people are going through and you're not helping by telling this private information to everyone. I would expect better from an influencer like you. Well, I'd expect better from an influencer, not necessarily one like Sarah. But anyway, Sarah came back with this little snidey re remark. The audacity of someone saying you don't know what people might be going through. Ha 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 ha. So Sarah's basically saying, well, you can't say what you don't know what people are going through when they don't know what she's going through. Basically, we don't know what she's going through. So why are we talking about her when uh, she? we don't know what she's going through or their family, right? So that's basically what she is on about there. But then she finishes it off by saying this. This is just the start, love. Might be best for you to unfollow. So that to me does sound quite threatening not necessarily to this person by the way i think this person is just completely not in this situation so trying to figure out who this person is doesn't really matter it's just a random person i think anyway but she is making a comment there that um this is just the start and uh, there's more to come what she said next concerned me I've got to say, concerned me a lot. So this is an iFam, and to be honest with you, iFam are terrible, right? These ones, these type, they always want you... They don't get what the, the Inghams are doing. They don't get why people are upset at the Inghams. So they stick their oar in where it's not necessarily wanted. And this one said this... You should expose people like this more often. I know they say don't stoop to their level, but why should you have to put up with their shit lies just because you chose to share your lives? See, this is the... Oh, my word. Seriously. Okay, so... Yeah. She want, this person wants Sarah to um, 
expose people more often because of their shit light. What the fuck? The problem is, A, it's not lies, right? Okay. But B, because they chose to share their lives. They didn't. They didn't choose to share their lives. Show me which of their children chose to share their lives. Which one said consciously, Mom, Dad, fill me in the bath. Fill me in the bath when I'm four years old and I plaster it all over the internet. That'll be good, won't it? That'd be just a laugh. We'll let every predator on the internet take that clip and spread it around the internet. That'd be a great laugh. And that's a, yeah, a four-year-old saying that. That's a very intelligent four-year-old to have done that. I've got to say, very good. Um, but yeah, Sarah jumped on this, obviously. She was delighted people backing her up. Oh, don't worry. After years of putting up with their harassment daily, and you wouldn't believe the lengths they go to, I absolutely will be exposing the lot of them. One by one. They think they're invincible, but they're not. Fake names won't help them anymore either. Just gonna sit back and watch it all unfold. Let them see how it feels for a change. I will show them the same courtesy and respect they have shown me. There are a lot of people getting pretty fed up with trolls nowadays. Yeah, indeed. Um, so Sarah is going to, um, well, it sounds like she's going to dox a few people and uh, unleash it to the world. And uh, that's going to be okay with the uh, the world because, you know, the, the world looks very kindly upon people who just, um, you know, release information about uh, people and um yeah no sir no so yeah i think that this is very concerning because firstly she is an influencer of some ill repute shall we say but she has 200,000 followers and she is um you know, people like her. Some people do, not as many as they used to be. I'm sorry, Sarah. But that's the problem, isn't it? It's because people don't like you. Now, there's been some, like, I don't know. There's been a lot of speculation about why Sarah's put these stories up and who they are related to and who they are aimed at and who she's aiming for, who you know, who specifically she's aiming at. Now... She could be talking about people in general or one specific person. That first one with the um, not being able to see their son. That one is, I don't know. It's not me. Don't know anybody it could be. So don't know, right? But with everything else, she could be referring to lots of people, different people, people in general. She's going to expose them all. Now, the thing is, right? She she already knows my address, Sarah and Chris. They know where I live, and um, I I don't know. Uh, they they if they wanted to, they could. Um, don't really care if they do because my address is actually on the internet. It's not difficult to find. My name is also on the internet. It's not difficult to find. So I don't really care about that. You know it's is what it is and um uh, you know i can do i don't really have anything to lose <laughs> sorry it's not you know anyway <laughs> but um overall it's quite threatening you know because um she shouldn't be acting like that as an influencer of um very vulnerable young people you know and vulnerable old people as well now People want to know why she's done it. Now, I have a theory because, um, Sarah, information also uh, drops on my lap as well, you know? Um, so if, if you're being given, given info, then, you know, so am I. And um, my information from a source um, suggests that uh, prior to you putting up this post, 
pretty much immediately prior to it or around about the same time um you um left you departed a, a group chat from of ifam x ifam and uh weren't they 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 were talking a little bit of shit about you and and i'm thinking here's my theory right okay so um you got the hump right because i found who had previously adored you and loved you and everything no longer did and you thought what the fuck why you know nobody loves me anymore nobody adores me i'm not as famous as i think i am and i'm just now going to expose the lot of everybody right now i don't know if she's talking about this group of ifam x ifam uh specifically uh, that she's going to expose i really hope not because um that would be <laughs> a very lot inappropriate wouldn't it sarah um yeah as you well know so <laughs> i just think i think my theory is that sarah got the hump because she found out she was given a, a nasty reminder that she was um not liked anymore and uh, she jumped off the deep end and uh, that led to that little outburst didn't it sarah that's what i think anyway um, but on another note, because Chris does not get out of this so easily either, um, Chris had an interaction with uh, what is one of these IFAM that was in this group. By the way, Chris was also in this group uh, for a while and left um, about a month ago. And um, yeah, I'm not quite sure why you were um, <laughs> you were in uh, Instagram groups with uh, you know IFAM. Um, not entirely a silent partner either, from my what I'm understanding, Chris. So um, I <laughs> yeah. Recently, a post appeared on your comments in your um, Instagram. And this was it. So this is uh, what somebody from that group, the aforementioned group, meant, uh, commented. I blacked out the name for obvious reasons. And they said, your book is a scam. And Elizabeth Milhorn has replied. And some may wonder why I haven't blacked out her name. It's because she's well known across the uh, IFAM Defence League, <laughs> you know. So um, she just puts a clown emoji. And that same ex-IFAM replied, okay, well, at least I have a real job and don't exploit children for cash, unlike this twat here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but Chris, Chris, in his wisdom, right? Okay, so I've got to give a little bit of back information here. These are IFAM, ex IFAM. They're about 17, 18 years of age ish, right? So um, Chris will know this because, uh, you know, <laughs> they're, they're formerly IFAM. He knows who they are. And uh, even if he doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But this is his response to that. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Clown emoji, clown emoji, clown emoji, clown emoji, clown emoji, clown emoji. Get a real job. Ha 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 ha, blah blah blah, ha ha. Wheezing, laughing, clown emoji, clown emoji. You get the picture, right? And at the bottom says, you enjoy your real job, sweetie. Now I, okay, I've got to say, right, that is a very, very condescending and pretty horrible, disgusting, and everything else I can possibly think of uh, to address what is a a, a young t a teen, a teenager, a teenage girl. I'm, I'm sorry, and maybe it's just, you know, I have different morals, but I feel like that is not really a very um, nice thing to say. Bear in mind that this is a former... IFAM, right? A former IFAM 
who, may I add, has put their hand in their pocket to buy merch in the past and um, made it possible for these to go on their holidays. Chris continues, Meanwhile, I'll be over here still living like a king, not giving two fucks what you or any other loser thinks of me. Now, okay, right, so as I said, this IFAM and the others have enabled Chris to live, as he says, like a king, and he absolutely doesn't care. He absolutely does not care whatsoever. He then says he doesn't give two fucks, you know, and I just feel like speaking to a 17 or 18 year old girl like that is horrendously bad. And speaking to them like that, knowing that they have allowed him to live the life that he currently lives is beyond reprehensible. Disgusting human being beyond any shadow of a doubt. I, if I ever had any doubt before it, I, you know, him and his wife who has threatened possibly this same bunch of IFAM, ex-IFAM, knowing that they have given her the life that she's living right now, if it wasn't for any of the IFAM, and it, even the ones that exist now, right? We know that their iPhone has kind of changed a little bit over the years. Now it's predominantly, I'd have to say probably predominantly, the older generation. Um, there's still some kids around, but a lot of older people commenting and backing them up and defending them and stuff like that, right? Now, those iPhone aren't the ones that put their hands in their pockets for years to um, allow these to do what they want to do. It's the kids that did that and the kids' parents that did that to allow them to uh, go on all these holidays. If it was not for any of those, these would be nothing. Absolutely zero. In fact, they are zero right now. They, they are beyond a scum. I'm sorry. This whole affair kind of really rubbed me up the wrong way because it was very threatening. But when I found out this as well on top of that, it just really set me over the edge because it is so wrong. And um, I, I feel like they should be ended. And I, I do feel like what Sarah put up especially was a career ending statement she's going to come and find everybody and expose everybody I don't think that the um, newspapers for example are going to take too kindly to that um, I've also written a a very nice article I think anyway my opinion <laughs> obviously I wrote it but I if you would like to go and read more about what I've written about this situation, please head on over to my website. The link is in the description box below. Um, give it some love, support, and share it around. The more people that know, and I don't feel like that people share this enough, right? It's not just something that we do every day just to watch them and see them destroy themselves. But sharing it to other people, let as many people know as you could possibly, you know. And the more people who know, the more people will know what they're doing. And some people have forgotten about these. I Sometimes I get people come back to my channel and say, oh my God, these are still going. <laughs> because they don't know, because they've forgotten about them. And rightly so, to be fair. But, you know just don't let people know it doesn't let people forget and um, just share everything and let everybody know that these are still around and still need to be taken down and they will be i this right now what we're witnessing right now is pretty much the end of them pretty much the end of their channel i guarantee this is where it's at right now chris is having some sort of <laughs> midlife crisis but is very dangerous with it, with his opinions. He's sucking people in. He's getting people to sign up for his um, his book and his whatever else he's trying to sell. And um, yeah, we we need to put an end to that. So let's do that. Until next time, I hope you've learned something here. And uh, 
please give this video a massive thumbs up comment all your thoughts about this down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new until next time take care of yourselves and bye bye